<laughs> so hey guys, um, I'm really excited because in this video, I'm going to show you the mala necklaces. So, um, the malas just arrived, maybe you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been really excited about this project here in Bali to uh, design and create my own um, custom, beautiful, handmade malas that I'm going to be offering to you guys as, oh, it's a lot. It's a, above all, it's a talisman of hope. It's a little bit of Bali. It's a little bit of me and my love for you. And it's also a tool to help you with your practice to stay grounded and stay joyful and stay present amidst whatever challenges life brings. So, I know, Pam, just a minute of time. I, I'm literally leaving in an hour, so. Um, so let's open them up. Okay, so the woman was just here. These are, this is my leftover materials from everything I bought. Here are my little bags that I'm going to go in. And then here, ooh, I got the most of the lava ones. I don't know how much you guys like the lava ones. Here are the purple, the purple ones. Here's the green one. Here are the orange. Not, not so many of the orange. The ones I got the least of are the orange and the pink. Oh, no, these. These are the ones with, with, without a tassel. They have a crystal. Yeah, your mala is a... Yeah, so, um, so rosary beads, it's the same principle. So this tool transcends it goes across all religions you'll find something like this in christianity in buddhism in hinduism it is a spiritual tool it's essentially like a counting tool right and when when people purchase these it's going to come with a series of videos that explains what it is how you can make use of it um so yeah, what's up oh my god 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 oh my god, oh my god. there's no brain they're so pretty. So this is my this is my water uh, model. So this, these are aquamarine, sea sediment jasper, pearls, and these don't have. So um, two models have uh, mo most of the models have the um, the knots in between the beads, but these have the um, the little golden beads. Just because I really like the look of that. That's how my Molly here is. So. So these are gorgeous. So I have 20 pieces of the water mala. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see let's, let's what's next. Oh, this is my my next favorite one. Well, they're all my favorite ones. I gotta make sure I don't blow away. And then here are, oh, these are like the earth ones. Let me, let me set this down. So these, these I actually designed thinking of my sister. I was going to give it to her as a gift because originally they didn't have enough of the screen. Um, but they had enough to make like one. So I made one for my sister. But when I showed him, I showed him the High Vibe Tribe, a lot of people really like the green. So so I asked her to go find more. And this are just, oh, the Labradorite. Oh my God, the Labradorite. And the Peach Moonstone. Mm. And then these are Smoky Quartz. Mmm. Mmm. So yeah, so Missy, so these are ones I designed. I didn't, I didn't make them myself because, because I'm, I don't, I'm not that powerful. Um, so a local woman named Wyan who was just here, she just brought them. She made them with uh, a mother. Uh, so a, um, a woman who is a mother, a stay-at-home mom. I wish I had. So they were them together. Okay, so let's. So then, these are the models that don't have a tassel, because I heard that some people don't like tassels. So instead, this one has a crystal at the end. Look at that, isn't that cool? That's really sweet. So this has um, Amazonite, clear crystal, and agate. And when I do list them on my website, I'm gonna give you a description of all of them. Aren't they so pretty? Oh my gosh. So, so this is more, so this one, you can see this is my like water one this is my like celestial air even though i mean crystal's not i mean crystal can, can be considered airy so this is my like sky water earth 
And then of course, we've got the fire here. So here are the, okay, so something, so something, something about the uh, fire. So these are the, the lava models. So I, I included fire agate. And when I did the sample, I chose the fire agate that were all, all black, they're all dark. So the whole thing was black. But with the fire agate stones that I bought, there is some discrepancy in the colors. So there are some like little white, little white spots. But Wyan pointed out here in Bali, they have a tradition of using this black and white fabric on the sacred staff. And that's to represent the duality of light and dark, of good and evil, of, of life and death, right? So, so it's about the duality. So the black ones, some of them have a little bit of white in them, but I still think they are just gorgeous. Wow, so that's the fire agate. The fire agate, we've got tiger's eye, this uh, lava stone, and these, these beads are actually seeds. They're called rudrashkas, and they symbolize freedom of choice, like conscious choice, consciously choosing. Um, in, in Hinduism, they talk about how Lord, Lord Shiva achieved this state of just meditation where these tears of bliss were falling from his eyes, and when they landed, they turned into these seeds. So they represent tears of bliss of the divine. There you go. Conscious choice, tears of bliss of the divine. So um, so then let me show you. I got two more to show you. Oh, no, I got two more to show you. Hey, you. You got the purple one here. So if you like purple green, so this is a green turquoise, purple amethyst, and clear quartz crystal. And so this design is a little bit different where you see the other ones were all blocks of three, and this one we um, we put in some alternating colors. And so this is the other one that has the gold, the gold, um, the gold beads in the middle. Um, so I call this my royal, my royal forest, royal forest one. And then, this one, this one was a one of the last ones I, I designed kind of just like last minute because I just, I just love these stones so much. So these, this is my, this is my self-love version, the pink one with rose quartz, rondite, rondolite, rondite, and a, and a, like a pink pearl, which is really great. And then a nice pink tassel. So my niece is eight years old and she is going to get one of these as a present. She's, so my, my sister's Muslim, I told you, and so my, my niece is Muslim. And so I got one of these to be prayer beads. So in, in, in Islam, they have prayer beads, but they have 99 beads. So, so normally most of these are gonna have 108, but the Muslim prayer beads are 99. So I made one of these with 99. So she's gonna get a little pinky prayer bead set. I'm sure she's gonna love it because she loves everything pink. I don't think she really cares about prayer beads. I think she just wants a pink necklace so um Tori you love the pink okay cool see I only got I got very few of them because I wasn't sure if people like pink but the design is really pretty with the, and here I did the alternating I brought in the alternating pearls here um so so yeah just in the nick of time um yeah they're all lovely in different ways oh wait there's, there's one more so you remember the labradorite with the green forest originally I told you that there wasn't enough green so I had to choose a different color so originally, the color was this one, but then Hive Up Tribe, nobody really commented on it, so at first I was going to cancel it, but then I told the tribe I was canceling it, and some people were like, oh no, you shouldn't have, so I was like, so then I made just a few of these with the orange colors. This is the earth with that peach moonstone labradorite smoky quartz, but with the orange tassel. So, how do you get one of these? First, you're patient. The first thing I needed to do was to receive the order. I actually ordered more, but she didn't have enough time to make them. So I couldn't list things for sale without knowing what kind of inventory I had. So um, so what's gonna happen is somewhere between now and New Jersey, I'm gonna work on listing these on my website, on, on my little website shop, you know, my shop where I sell my t-shirts and what do I, I sell others. I have recommended products, Erica's favorites, where I recommend lots of things. Um, so this is my first time listing something of like my own creation in my shop. So, uh, I mean, I created the t-shirts, but the order goes just to the company and they handle everything. So this is the first time that like I have inventory. And so we have 103 pieces here. Um, 
some of I'm sure I'm gonna get my mom one. I already have some for my sister. My niece is gonna get one of the pinky ones. So um, once I have an idea of which ones are for sale, I will list them on the website and then I'm gonna put the link in the High Vibe Tribe first because they they get they get special treatment because they're my monthly supporters. I'm sure you can understand. Um, and then probably like 24 hours later or 48 hours later, I'll put the link here. Um, so, so yeah. So, oh, and I forgot to tell you. So I hope they come in time, but I ordered some, some photo prints from that photo shoot I had, um, before they started construction on my land. So me on the land with Stella. So I ordered some prints. And so, um, when you purchase these, you're also going to get some signed photographs, inshallah, if they can come in time. Um, you'll get the signed photographs too. So, so there you go. The malas are here. Oh, Glenda, I'm glad you like the orange. Yeah, I, I thought the orange was really nice, and I was surprised nobody commented on it, but I think the orange is quite nice. So when I land in New Jersey, we'll, we'll work on this. So, because, you know, I love... Why well, just enjoy time with my family when I could give myself a project, right? But, but you guys know I'm, I'm really excited and really happy about this. This is definitely, like, the highlight of my trip, my time in Bali. And my trip needed to be exactly this long for this to happen. Literally, they were delivered an hour before I left for the airport, so. So speaking of which, I have an, I have an hour before I leave for the airport, so I have to go and pack these. My bags are already full, so I think I'm gonna be doing a little bit of um, creative Tetrising with my bags, with my stuff, so. Um, so yeah, I'm, Talk about attachments. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna carry on in my person as many of these as possible because, say, if I lose my bag, I would get quite broken. So, yeah, they're also they're also pretty. But here's the cool thing: there's literally no wrong answer because each one is so pretty that you you can't go wrong. And and really, what it's about is like then how you use it. How you use it. You can use it in different ways. You can use it with mantras, you can use it just as a gratitude practice, you can use it just to take some deep breaths, you can use it just to remember, you know, remember you're not alone, you know, just have faith, to feel supported, and of course also, gotta say, these are helping me with my project, with my land and my house, so you can also feel good knowing that you're helping me tell this story and bring this content to you, which I love to do, so, um, yeah, I you, see, you hope there, Erin, you hope there are enough left. I hope so too. I am, you know, it was scary to, it was also, I mean, you, I think you heard me, maybe you heard me talk about, there was a big, a lot of emotions that went into this project of like, can I do it? Is this going to work? My design suck. Got through that. But definitely part of that is like, are people going to buy them? Is this going to work? Am I just going to, you know end up having a bunch of malas that nobody wants, you know, so, um, so yeah, so yeah, yeah, mashallah, mashallah, so, I should have, maybe I should have made more of the Muslim, the Muslim version with the 99 beads, but maybe next time, the cool thing is, because of this trip, this in so many ways was sort of like a scouting trip to Bali, where I was making connections, um, figuring out, you know, who, who are my contacts, where do I get the resources, so, so I could conceivably design malas and have her make them, and, and have her send them to, to the U.S. Now, not, not one per, it's to one person, so how this is working now is I have a friend from this audience who has volunteered to help me, um, with the malas so I'm going to sell and package as many as I can and send off as many as I can and then the rest are going to go to my friend um, and and then she's going to send them out so I'm going to just package them up and then she'll when I have the list of orders she'll just take them to the post office for me so conceivably in the future um, if someone wanted to partner with me um, you know we could we could do like mala business but it depends it depends if people want to keep buying them if people don't want them we're not gonna do it so um sandy i hope so i hope so i hope so i think they're really pretty my 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 heart and my soul is in these and they're just they turned out so honestly guys they turned out more beautiful than i expected like i knew they were gonna be pretty but like Ooh. And what I love also is they're made by local women. We supported local women, mother, and a Hawaiian. One of the Hawaiian has two grown children, but one of the women 
she has got a little baby and so she can only work at home so we gave her we gave her work so all right guys <gasps> crystal woods happy birthday Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Alright guys, thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm gonna go get these all packed up and do, 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 do. so Julian, they will be for sale on my website. Um give me some time to list them so I gotta do the write-up about the stones, I gotta take pictures, I gotta do the thing. So um so yeah, just patience. You get one by being patient. That's how you get one. Okay. Uh thank you, thank you, thank you, Tara. I'm on my way to New Jersey. I'm starting the the journey and leaving in half an hour, so I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of this this journey, this adventure, this unlikely story around the world, near and far, unexpected places, unexpected turns. Oh, and speaking of the journey, I did an interview with a really cool, young, talented content creator like myself. Uh, and yeah, she's so talented. And so she interviewed me. Um, and so I have some links to share. Um, so I'll, I'll share those. Maybe I can share those while I'm traveling. So if I can't make videos, you still can watch some content. Okay. Love you. called Mermaid Treasure. Alright. Hi guys. Love you.